Hi guys, this is Wednesday, um, and today is Thursday, February 13th. Also, this is my co-host, Jack. Um, he's going to be helping out today with all the fun fiber stuff that we're going to talk about, um, which is actually not all that much. I'm mostly just checking in. I've been pretty busy lately. Um, this is episode four because the episode three that I filmed six or seven times went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, I finally got through the entire thing and I was very proud of it and I got all the links typed in and I put it up on my computer and I started watching it to make sure nothing went wrong and about halfway through I started getting a demon voice and it got so deep and so horrible that you couldn't even understand what I was saying so I just scrapped it just episode three is just not not a thing we're gonna go straight into episode four um, Unfortunately, that was a few weeks ago, so I don't actually remember what all I was going to talk about, which is why it's going to be a little bit shorter today than usual. It's his bedtime. So, anyways, um, what's on the wheel? The same thing that's always on the wheel. It's very lace. Um, I'm working on the second ply. I'm actually finally getting my pace up. The Olympics are on. I don't actually get to watch the Olympics because that requires either internet when the baby is asleep or my television not to suck so um but it doesn't matter you don't have to necessarily be watching the olympics to still be able to participate in that kind of like ravelinic spirit you have to call it ravelinics now i found that out it's not ravelympics anymore because you're not allowed to have fun but um so i'm going to try and push myself for the duration of the olympics whether i get to watch all of them or not um, or much of them, for that matter. Uh, I'm still going to push myself and try and get through some more spinning projects. So I have gotten further into the second ply of the Surrey Lace. The, um, the first ply I actually have, so I can at least show you guys what that looks like on the bottom. Um, it's not very much, but it is very pretty. So it's got a little bit of uh, bamboo in it, a little bit of red red sparkle. And then I have a couple of my little tufts that I make from the bat. I tear out strips and I coil them up and I make these cute little little things. Um, that's mine. You can't have that. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm getting, I'm getting further in it. I'm hoping I can finish it up in the next few days, just depending on how my schedule goes, how things work for me. Um, another cool piece of spinning news is I found my Golding Spindle, which I don't think I've gotten to tell you guys about yet. If you don't know what Golding Spindles are, you should go look them up because they're awesome. They're pretty expensive, but they're also awesome. And the one that I have, well, they all have this, as far as I know. They, they make a bunch of spinning tools. As far as I know, they all have this gold edge around the edge of them. And that's to kind of like balance the weight on the outside of the, the drop spindle. So when it spins, um, it spins a little bit more smoothly, a little bit even distribution. More even distribution. Ever is not a word. The other thing I like about the spindle is that it has these little notches on both sides. So I worry a little bit less when I'm putting it on the hook about whether or not it's you know going to pop off once the spindle gets to start being more and more full. Words. So anyways, what I have on here, I don't even know. I only found this recently. It's some kind of sample from Fat Fiber ages and ages ago, years ago. I, don't, I just don't know what kind it is. So, buddy, I'm going to tell them the best part. The best part is it has a spider on the front. And I really like spiders, so that's good. Uh, it's a tarantula, it's a little porcelain inlay, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and it's wonderful. So that's some cool new spinning news. If I didn't already get to tell you guys about this, I'm getting mixed up because of how many times I tried to film episode three. Um, the next thing that I'm excited about putting on the wheel is this stuff. This is 100% alpaca, just regular alpaca. I don't know how it's pronounced really, um, yeah, if I guess I'm just going to make an idiot out of myself, but it's very pretty, and it's in the colorway tortie, like a tortoiseshell cat, 
And um, I got it from Spinneretta Studio, who is still on Etsy, so I'll post a link to that a little bit later. Um, there's about four ounces of it here. I had a friend of mine come over and um, dig through all my fiber that we didn't cover. We found a whole bunch more. And so she kind of went through that and she picked out something that she wanted to make a hat out of. She wants to make it out of um, all of that alpaca. And it's the pattern that I had her pick out on that one was like Bella's hat or something like that. Apparently Bella has a hat. I may have said all of this before, just anyways. Um, so yeah, whenever we get it actually spun up, I, I wanted her to pick the powder first because I wanted to know what weight to spin it at. So that's still lined up to go next after the Surrey. Um, but it'll go a lot quicker because I won't be spinning it lace weight. It's going to be more like a worsted, a bulky even, which is going to be a lot quicker to get through. So I'm excited about that. It's also, unlike Surrey, it's a lot less drapey and heavy and dense. So that'll make it go a little bit quicker too. Um, what else? I know I had a magazine pulled up to show you guys the pattern that I was going to make for her. Also, my next knitting pattern, which is going to be a, a kind of shrug style thing. But I've already put the magazine away. I mean, like I said, it's been a few weeks since I got to talk to you guys and, and make one of these videos. Um, so I don't have that sitting out and ready right now. But uh huh. It was from a knitting um, magazine, like from like 2005 or something like that. And it's just a very simple shrug. She'll buy the alpaca yarn to make it out of. I don't have to spin because it, it takes like 900 yards and I don't have to spin all 900 yards to do that. Because, which is good because I'm a lot better with small projects. Um, I like to do a few ounces at a time and then move on. I get really ADD about my spinning. Um, so yeah, that'll be next on the needles. Just whenever, whenever I get the yarn, whenever I get the time for it. It may not be for a little while, but there's a plan in motion for that. Um, as far as crocheting, I can't, again, I can't remember if I told you these guys this or not, but, um, I finished my mom's doily. It's very pretty. I'm not going to block it. Screw blocking. Blocking takes forever and is very boring, but that's what that looks like. I already listed the pattern for that, pretty sure, so I'm not going to list it again, but it is on Ravelry and it is free. Um, the only thing I have left to do is just to sew in the ends story of my life. Maybe one day that will happen. Um, oh yeah, my little brother actually ages ago, years ago, I crocheted him a little Game Boy case for his Garmin GPS. So, I mean, he wanted something that would cushion it when it gets tossed around in the car, right? So he had me crochet a little case, and I made it in the shape of a Game Boy. So the little flap that goes over is a little green screen. And it has little buttons and stuff on it, so it was really cute. And it's one of my favorite things that I've, I've designed and made myself. It's actually on my Ravelry page, so you can go and look at it. Copy me if you want, that's fine. I didn't even write out the pattern. It's just kind of improvised, but go for it. Um, and he just recently texted me a picture. Or picture message to me a picture of his new XL 3DS or whatever game system it is trying to fit into this little case that's meant for a much smaller GPS and he's got like that much of it sticking out and so he sends me this picture and says is there any way you can make me a new one of these so I don't know if I'll go, he, he doesn't care if it's the same Game Boy style or not, so I think I'm, I'm considering doing it like in a shape of a game controller or something else, nerdy like that, but that'll be my next crochet project, I think. I'm kind of focusing on the spinning for a little while, at least for, at least for the extent of the Olympics. You tell him. You tell him all about it. At least to the extent to the Olympics, I'll be mostly spinning, not so much other stuff. So, um, also the rescue that I'm working with is is busy merging at the moment, so it's kind of taking all of my time um, trying to close that up. So, 
spinning in paperwork for the next couple of weeks. So there won't be a whole bunch of new projects for me to tell you about, but at the very least, I'll be able to keep you updated on spinning stuff. So he's discovered his tongue. I apologize for any of you who are watching this and don't particularly care for babies babbling over vlogs, but it's late and this was the only time it was going to happen and I just wanted to check in with you guys. So, hi! That's the update. Um, yeah, again, this was episode four and I'll try and check in with you guys again next week. Try and be a little bit less less lazy about getting these videos uploaded. Hopefully this one turned out okay and I don't have to redo it because that would just drive me nuts. But So, that's what's on the wheel, what's on the needles, what's on the hook, even what's on the spindle. And I'll see you guys next week.